Hey y'all, it's Amanda and I am going to paint tonight in my studio and I thought you guys could hang out with me and join my little relaxing time that I'm going to have here. I'm going to paint a floral. I'm not 100% sure how it's going to all turn out, but I've got a little bit of an idea in my head. So as you guys are coming on, let me know that you're here. Say hello. Just gonna get my paint out. And I'm kind of looking at something that I have in mind. I went outside and picked some flowers from our yard the other day. And so I've got them, I've got them over there in a little vase and I'm thinking about thinking about doing something like that so hi Carolyn and Marcia hey Amanda so I'm um, just gonna kind of relax and have some time to chill out tonight myself and I like to do that with paint. So I thought you guys could just kind of join me. So this is going to be, what I want to do is something that's asymmetrical. So I don't want it to all be sticking up right here. I want it to come over this direction. So I'm just going to plan out where my flowers are going to be. And this is usually how I start just about anything that I paint. So I picked some um, zinnias that's what I'm looking at a container over here you may have seen it if you if you follow me on Instagram I took a picture of my zinnias that I picked from our yard the other day and that is what I'm gonna I'm gonna try to paint so there's there's like a another little container here that has some little small roses in it but I don't know if I want to add that or not that needs to come up I know this looks like a big junky mess but in my head I can see what all this is going to look like later <laughs> so don't worry it'll come It'll come together. I'm going to have another flower there. And I'm just going to fill in some stuff that's not even really there. Oops, I picked up yellow. I'll bring this down a little more. So this is just my beginning idea. Okay. So let's go from there. Hey everybody. Also, I wanted to let you guys know if you're interested, my Creative Wings 
workshop begins on Monday and I put a link in the description if you're interested in joining that before it's time for us to close the doors on it. So you've, you've still got some time. But that's going to be taking place really soon. I'm really excited about it too. I think, I think you guys are going to be surprised at what you can accomplish. Alrighty. This is going to be a little bit different than what I normally do as far as color scheme goes because a lot of these flowers are not my normal flower color. Put a little bit of that one in here too. And I'm also using a brush. I don't usually use brushes either. But we're going to do this and have some fun with some brushes. Just play with different colors and see what happens. I'm going to get sort of the base of my flowers, the bigger flowers, just kind of in there. And then we'll come back and I'm going to do most of my greenery. Okay, let's put in some green stuff. And I want to add, definitely know I want to use this darker green. And if you've watched me paint before, you know I usually put in my background last 
or closer to the end. Not always last, but that's part of my process. And I like to leave some of this, these bright colors, like this bright pink that I've got here now. I like to leave some of that kind of showing up. Let's add some blue. I'm not 100% sure what color I want my container here to be because I'm not sure about my background either. But we'll get there. Now I'm really straying from looking at the original thing over there that I started kind of painting from. I'm just going to do my own thing now. But I really want to get some of these dark spots in there. If you're going to do a full arrangement in a container like this, then you're going to need to fill in some of these little gaps. Okay. Let me see. Let me get some. Let's go in and put in some background color and then we'll we'll decide what we're going to do next. So I think what I'm going to do is mix up a pretty gray. Got way too much red. So I'm just kind of cutting around the flowers and some of the other things that I've already kind of put in. And this process just is, is done kind of in layers. So I'll put down my background, then I'll come back, work on the flowers some more. I may come back with a totally different color background later, who knows? 
just kind of happens sometimes. What I'm thinking I might like to do is try to do more than one color in the background. So maybe. over here start with a bright blue I'm totally just winging this so if it turns out bad we'll paint over it okay so got this blue here that's gonna kind of Turn into the gray. And then what if I did like a pink over here? Let's see what happens. Let's see what happens when we do that. So let's just get pretty pink color that's really bright I think we need to tone it down a little hmm. that's gonna be more purpley but it's okay we'll just go with that that's a really pretty color Then we'll just let that, just let that purpley pink color start blending into the gray. And some of this here in this this area I need to have a little shadowing going on down here Sometimes it's good to just paint something without an agenda. So I'm not trying to paint something to sell, paint something to show. I'm just doing this for myself, just for the fun of it. And that is always the most exciting kind of painting to do because you kind of open yourself up a little bit more and you are freer with your ideas and you're not so stressed about what it's going to turn out to, you know to be <laughs> you just allow yourself to to really play and that's something that is important for creative people in general I mean you have to have time to play I'm going to look for some yellow you know what I should have put a little bit of brown out I didn't. So there we go. Got some brown now. And bronze yellow and yellow ochre are really close to the same color. So we're, I've got that right here. The bronze yellow. I'll just go with it for now. And I'm going to work on my flowers a little bit more now. 
Well, let's put some of this. It's kind of the middle of most of these. I know myself well enough to know I'm not going to keep this container this color. It's going to end up being something totally different before it's all over with. <laughs> Most likely white because that is what I'm usually drawn to. Well, let's just get the, the gist of it kind of put in here and then and come back and fix it up a little more later. Uh, I'm just now looking at your comments, y'all. Sorry, I got a little caught up in what I was doing. Let's see. Scroll up. Oh, Becky said she accidentally did an angry face. That's okay. Um, what size brush am I using? This one was a number eight round brush. This one is a number three filbert. And I'm also probably going to be using this one. It's a number 12 round brush. I like it too. And then I've got out my palette knife. I will most likely be using at some point. Thank you, Deborah. Thanks, Robin. Uh, Diana said she likes the background with all the colors. Thank you. I may even I may work it up so that it's even a little brighter than that. Okay, so let's just keep going here. We'll switch to this brush. tell I'm going to need a lot of white because I'm doing so much mixing but I'll get it back out in just a minute All right.
paper's trying to buckle on me a little bit, but I'm going to just keep going. Okay, let's see. Give me some white for sure. And I need some brown. I think this brush is going to work best because everything's so small here. Okay, I'm gonna do some brown in my little leaves I got going here. I need to go back and do some shape up work on some of these. I think I need one more flower right here, so I'm gonna let's throw one in here.
some of your greenery can be just kind of haphazard. Some of it can be more defined and some of it can look just really impressionistic in this all in the same painting and it all can still work together. Most of the time the really dark spots that are kind of in between things need to be you no know, haphazard. Let's make this look kind of like a fern. We'll go with some lighter green right here. Let's make it bright. And then let's do another one. Let's make one come down right here. All right, we're going to work on our flowers some more. And in my arrangement that I have over there, I have some lantana, which is just like tiny little, it's like a little bunch of tiny little yellow flowers. So they might look a little something like, like this, like a little bunch of them. So we're going to fill those in in a few spots. I'm still not sure what color. I think I'm going to do this container white. And most likely with a palette knife because that's going to look extra neat. Okay, so let's do some more of this. These lantana blooms over here. Maybe one up here. When you're painting on a table, it's kind of hard to sit back and look at what you're doing sometimes because you're so close to it. All right. We'll go with that for right now. I'm going to work on my flowers a little bit more. Red.
Okay. I'm not really going by the, the flowers that I had to begin with anymore. I'm just I'm making these look however I want them to look. Need some white. Not that much white. <laughs> All right, and now let's go back to these little pieces of lantana. Put some bronze yellow in there. And we'll come back and put a little bit of some dark brown in there just to give it some more depth. And then I'll probably come back with some more bright yellow. But before I do that, let's work on the background again a little bit more. Uh, Claudine said the video looks blurry. You guys let me know if it looks blurry to you. Because I can't, I don't see it looking blurry over here. Just getting a little bit more whimsical with my background here. Okay. Everybody's saying it's not blurry. 
So Claudine, it may be your internet connection. Sometimes that happens. Okay, let's do this. Put some, I need some more yellow. Put some highlights in this yellow, these little yellow flowers that I have. I want them to be really bright and cheerful. I'm just doing this for myself, not for any other. I don't have any agenda with this painting. And you guys, this is majorly important for you. If you are a creative person and you aren't creating, you're going to you're gonna feel it. So if I don't allow myself to do this occasionally, just paint something just for the fun of it, I can, I can tell when I need to, it's like I'm, my body, my brain says, okay, it's time for you to do something fun just for yourself. And it's really important that you allow yourself to do that. Okay, I'm going to try to do this because... The flowers that I have have this pretty little ring around them like this. Some of them do anyway. So let's try. See how that looks. Gotta get a little, a little dark shadow in there. I'll do some light colored ones in some of them and some darker ones in the others. Okay. Now let's work on this container. Turn it around.
And I definitely want it to look aged. And I want it to have some shadowing. All right. I think I'm almost done. I think this pink is a little too much, so. It's going to tone it down a little bit because it's kind of taken away from, from the flowers. Just lighten it up. Put a little brown in there. I think I want to add some blue in here. So I'm just making up flowers now <laughs> that don't even really exist in my, my reference over there. But I think it needs just a little blue in here. Okay, now let's kick up these leaves a little with some texture.
And let's see. Definitely like that little bit of blue in there that helps pull it all together. I think I see one more spot that I want to lighten up a little bit and maybe done. So I think we need some. Just a little bit of a lighter spot there, and then we'll darken it around the middle. Okay. I think this one is going to stay like it is now. Um, Claudine said, when I'm done, can I zoom in for a close-up? I will try. Sometimes my camera goes a little bit crazy when I try to do this, but here's... It's probably as close as I'm going to be able to get it without it messing up something. <laughs> but it's all very whimsical, messy, lots of layers, all the things that I love. And I did the flowers with a, a brush this time, which was fun for me. Thank you, Diana. Thanks, Rhonda. And yeah, I think I'm gonna have to. I'm gonna have to stop, or I may do more than than what I need to. I was thinking about doing some little, like little branches. I don't know. Let me see. Like. not really doesn't really show up very much so I'll probably just not do that
Thank you, everybody. So this was very therapeutic for me. Lots of fun. I hope you guys enjoyed watching. And like I said, if this is something that you know that you need to do more often yourself, take time to just paint something just for you that you don't have to try to have some sort of agenda, whether it's if you, you sell your art or you're painting for a class or whatever it might be, just be sure that you take time to do something just for you. And if you're interested in my Creative Wings Creativity Workshop, it begins on Monday and you guys can can join and um, it's only $5. So the link is in the description here of this video. And hopefully I will see some of you on Monday morning at 9 a.m. in our Facebook group. You guys have a great weekend and I'll talk to you next time. Bye.